I think we'll just show this part here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 16, Distinguish. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting. It feels like there's more to be expressed with it, too. Uh, we also want to uh, distinguish further work methods. And um, humorously, we said, because we worked with rhythm a lot, it's amazing how much a boom boom can add. And we're actually getting to the point where we like it too. So we continue to work with it too. We added, uh, adjusted the introduction. We put two mid mid introductions. Uh, we added beats to the bass and snare lines. We added, uh, double checked our timeline. We have a rule of thumb that that to keep interest roughly every 50 seconds, something significant has to change. Um, if it's Otherwise, it gets boring. Um, we we worked with the percussion line and the piano rhythm together, and we worked with the three melody lines and did quite a bit of swapping. And then we downloaded files, getting ready to do a, an animation. So what we're going to do is play the new improved as of today, um, it too. And that'll bring us home. Yes, okay, we can, what we can do, we can hide that last bar. We don't need to show that uh, line, rather. Here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about where we've gotten is though we call those mid-tro sections, the parts in the middle, they're kind of like a like a grand pause before the next section begins. We, that's part of that's because that's um, the 50 second point. And then we kind of like this fun stuff we did with the little uh, kick down here, not a kick to snare. Bop, 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 that little kick at the end. Yeah, ta da ko Anyway, our ideas for next time are to keep working with it too. Uh, there's some stuff we could do in the middle, or at the end rather. 
for example, I don't know, look at end part for variation interest. We also did a download of standalone parts. It's kind of interesting to just play the parts separately. For example, if we only play the rhythm and piano, we get this. and melody only. And of course, together. So there's plenty more to work with here. As we said, it it feels like it just keeps wanting certain things still want to be expressed in this. And of course, that is the theme of the lyric is that the composition kind of drives itself where it's trying to go. So shout outs to Miss Cleo who came by. Thank you. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.